molecular cloud full of hydrogen, methane, metal, and rock elements occurs because of a supernova explosion, which is the explosion of a star. The cloud thus became so dense it had gravity, and it starts to revolve and collapse into itself. As it spun, it collapsed into a disc-like shape because of gravity, because of a process called accretion, where most of the materials gather at the center. The elements become so dense and heavy at the center, a new clear fusion begins, and a protostar is born. As 99% of these elements become becomes the sun, 1% of the elements become the planet. Watch me strike out. Particles in the solar nebula began to clump together as gravity attracted them to each other. Over a few million years, many of these chunks had merged together into planetesimals, which were large chunks of material. Over time, the planetesimals continued to collide and join together, attracted by gravity, and formed protoplanets. The accumulation of material to form planets in this way is called accretion. Saturn is a planet made of hydrogen, helium, water, and methane. It is the second planet to be formed in our solar system after Jupiter and is the second largest planet. It is Earth is the only planet in our solar system to consist life. It includes a crust and is made of 70% water. It is made of rock and methane. Uranus is the third largest planet. It is made of hydrogen, helium, and methane. It consists of extremely cold temperatures. Fourth largest planet and is made of hydrogen, helium, and methane. Its environment is very similar to Uranus has an atmosphere made of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, water vapor, and other gases. It is made of iron oxide and is a terrestrial planet. Mercury is a terrestrial planet that is closest to the sun. It is covered in craters and has an iron core. Jupiter is the largest planet and consists of ice, helium, hydrogen, and methane. Venus is the second closest planet to the sun and has an extremely high surface temperature, making it the hottest planet of the solar system. Venus has many large volcanoes and clouds of poison gas and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Within the inner part of the solar system nearest to the sun, the temperature was 2,000 Kelvin and the outer part of the solar system was 50 Kelvin. Therefore, in the inner part of the solar system, the materials were solid and had high melting points, while the outer part of the solar system had materials that had water and methane. That causes the inner part of the solar system to consist of terrestrial planets and the outer part of the solar system to consist of gaseous planets. Planets in our solar system formed in this order from oldest to youngest. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and Earth. The planets in the outer solar system formed first and became larger because of the more materials available. The reason for why planets orbit the solar system is because of the planet's gravitational attraction to the sun which causes it to orbit. These planets orbit in an elliptical path because the planet is being attracted to the sun as well as the other planets because of gravity, causing it to orbit in a flattened circle or an elliptical path. My life is kind of boring I need something that 